Is there a market crash about to come? Do you want to win 200 bucks cash? Watch to the end of this video or thereabouts. It might not be exactly the end because I don't want you to cheat. I'm going to give away some money. Now on with the video. Loads of YouTubers love talking about this stuff. I don't. I just tell you as it is. I'm not here to sell videos. I go live up to 10 hours a day when they're making videos. I'm going live making videos during my live. But for me, it's about building a community of trust. We aim to the most honest, real live channel on YouTube TV. But it's worth talking about because uh, people are concerned about it. And there's some evidence to suggest that we have reached a peak and everything is selling off. I've said that for the longest time in a bull market. I've been trimming all the way up over the last few months. I was up nearly 20,000 bucks in the S&P. I'm down to about four grand now because it's overbought now. Everything has gone up. I've taken profits, bought new emerging markets, and we're going to see where we think the if the crash is coming, where it's going to come from in this video, some price predictions, and let's have a quick look at it. So first of all, if you do like my video and you want this to be shown to more uh, more people, uh, then tap the like button. If you think this message is rubbish, don't uh, tap the like. In fact, tap the down like. I don't mind. I just want you to do something. I'm not about building subscribers or anything like that. I'm about building the most honest channel on YouTube. The subscribers take care of themselves. All right. So there you go. Smash the like or smash it twice. Does the same thing. Anyway, there we go. Do all that. And if you're new to the channel, consider subscribing to my channel for breaking news. Right, let's have a look at it. What is going down today? We can see what is moving. Now, Apple, I bought some more Apple. Apple had uh, re re regarded to be a disappointing earnings. People didn't like it. Amazon, I had a massive run. Uh, I was up 40% on Amazon, down, uh, well, I think it was 48%, I beg your pardon. I'm down to 39% up now. I've been trimming back. I was up to seven grand at one point. The S&P, I was up at 20 grand. I'm down to four grand. I was up 18%. I'm now down at 14 and a half. I've been trimming all the way down. Tilray Brands, another one. Uh, this one today, I think I, I took a 13% profit. It's it, it, uh, it was going sideways, starting to go up now. This one here is a very is a big concern because it's pivoted from its main focus on what it was, or at least what the retail investors thought it was, a cannabis stock. It's now buying all the breweries, it seems, in the world and focusing on craft beer. And nothing wrong with that. It always said it was a brand, but I'm not so sure that the retail investor understands what it's bought right now. So I just sold my position, happy with that, and I bought other stocks. I'll show you what I bought. Uh, is, but is the market going to crash? Apple is going down. Uh, solar is going up. Enphase is going down. So we've got a bit of back backwards there. But what we can see is over the last few weeks, defensive stocks are starting to rally. We can see J&J &J is up. I've been down 4% on J&J. &J. I'm now up 47 It was as high as 6 It has pulled back a bit. But my concern is... And I think this is the fear that the markets have right now. We all want to know that everything is looking great and Tesla's going down. Another one, high tech is being sold off. Rivian's going down. McDonald's is pretty much holding. That's okay. It's land. It does. Google was sold off. Microsoft was sold off. The concern that people have, and understandably so, is the fact that uh, we're now talking about a pivot Pivot would be terrible for the market. Uh, I don't think we're going to get a pivot. I said on the last FOMC that we would get a pause. I think a pause and holding it at a high rate for a long period of time sends the same message, does the same damage, if you like, but gives stability to the market. I think a pause is uh, is uh, on the cards. I think that's good. People are concerned, though, that there's that potential chance of a pivot. And that would mean things would surge and then dump. That's what would would happen because what would happen is if things started to surge, inflation would start going up again and then people would really lose faith in the stock market. I think things would run away very, very quickly and uh, high risk stocks, things like Tilray, things like Virgin Galactic, stuff like that, all of those high risk volatile stocks would 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 have um, would have a doomsday. They would all crash all the way down. So that's why we're seeing tech that sell off today. It's why we're seeing uh, some of the um, defensives rally. I, I think a crash could happen, um, but it's why I've been trimming off because at the end of the day, the end of the day, remember, the money you own in stocks 
is paper money. It means absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. If you only own your money in stocks, you own nothing. You've got to trim on the way up. You don't join a fan club. You take profits. If, you, if you're up 13%, uh, 14%, 15%, or 17% on the S&P in a, in, in a time when things aren't great, that's like two years on the S&P. Take your profits. And if you do it on your Roth IRA, you don't pay any tax. And right now, Robinhood's giving you a 3% match. So you make another 3% on top of that. So it's all good. Having money in cash is pretty good now as well, 4.9%. You're making as much money uh, uh, just holding your cash on Robin Hood than you are in a bond right now. So with no risk or stress or drama, and you can sell it whenever you want and buy stocks immediately. So that's what I'm doing. I've been trimming off. I've, I've had some money in cash. I found some opportunities. I, I bought the dips. You can see uh, things are starting to recover this morning. Let's have a quick look at my PLTR. I, I bought that this morning. I, I doubled my position. I also added on my Roth. Uh, I didn't have any in my Roth at all. And I bought some on my Roth. Oh, you can't see that. Let me change screen just so you can see. I just bought some uh, this morning on my Roth IRA. It's down at the moment. Uh, but uh, down 7% because it's dropped today. Uh, eight, oh, oh, it was down at 9% at one point. Nine and a half, nearly 10%. Yeah, nearly 10%. So um, I'm, I'm down just 694 now. It's going up. This position, I will take a, tr uh, a profit. Uh, I'm sure I could take a profit here today and it's tax-free and then I can do something else. But uh, there you go. What do you think? Do you think we're about to get a crash? Well, do you know what? It doesn't even matter to you. Do you know why? because I'm going to give you some money for free to make you feel better. And uh, if, if you click above my head over here, it'll take you to the link to our website, martinlucas.com, where you can win some money. Yep, I'm giving away 200 bucks in cash. Like that idea? Yep. Click above my head. You'll see over there. Here's the competition video. It explains all about it as sponsored by Sensei Crypto. And go down here and you can see more videos I think you might like. You might not like them. You might think they're rubbish, but I thought you liked them. End of the day, it's my show, innit? I'll do what I like. There you go. So if you want to win some money, we're giving away 200 bucks. It's free to enter, free for all. Click above my head, over here. Look over here. I feel like a bloody, uh, what are those people? You know, the flight, the flight, you know what I mean. Anyway, see you back in a bit. Take care of yourselves and each other.